The first step is always the hardest. And my goal today is to give you all the tools so you can make that first step. But then it's up to you. If you want me to help you after that, great, cool, let's have that conversation. But at the end of the day, the person who's going to do it is you. The person who's also going to benefit from it is going to be you. Because to be honest with you, it doesn't matter to me. I've, I've done my job. I've, I've come what I've, I, I said I would do. There we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> but the crux is, when are you going to take yourself seriously? As a business owner or as a thought leader in your industry? Whichever one is harder for you to get, gra gravitate your head around right now. Because clearly everyone in this room has been in business long enough to be a thought leader. You just haven't made the decision to be that yet. Because if you're in business, you know enough to be in business. Otherwise you wouldn't be sat here now being in business. Right? So surely you've got more than enough information to become a thought leader. So what's the difference between a thought leader and you? The only difference is the thought leader articulates what they know consistently. And they have a level of prestige because they can talk in front of a room or whatever. But that's a credibility building thing that happens by doing it. <laughs>